Good morning. Surprise. Happy Tuesday. So Tuesday is not a normal scheduled broadcast, but this probably mm -hmm. isn't a normal mm -hmm. broadcast either. I, man, I have been contacted by several business owners um, recently and the number of business owners who are burned out in their efforts, who are closing their businesses is heartbreaking. And I just wanted to talk about it on this morning. I think it's so important that you get intimate with your business. I've spoken to uh, business owners a year ago who connected with me to work with me on their business and did not move forward and now find themselves um, having to do something completely different. And my, my heart this morning just wants to tell you that adding another service or a new skill set to your business is not what's going to make your business last or, or grow. It's just not the key component that is going to do it. And so many business owners are inundated with their emotions, and I'm going to speak to um, emotions as as I uh, share this morning. This is completely from my heart. Um, <clears throat> for those of you who uh, may join on the replay, hey there, how are you? If you haven't hit get notifications so that when I'm on uh, doing a training, you'll know uh, this one is spontaneous. My normal broadcast times are 11.30 a.m. Mondays and Wednesdays, Eastern Standard Time, 11.30 a.m. Every Monday and Wednesday, Eastern Standard Time. And so I come on to give value to business owners. I myself, being an entrepreneur for over 26 years, so self-employed, uh, meaning that whatever we create, that's what we eat, that's how we take care of our family. And so how um, we build our business when we're self-employed depends on what we create and give value and receive an exchange for. <clears throat> so I've been doing that over uh, 26 years now. I was previously a service-based business owner with for a brick and mortar business. So I owned a brick and mortar business for uh, 10 years where I had staff and employees and the whole kit and caboodle. And I've learned a lot. I've had some great successes uh, in my business and my time as an entrepreneur, but I've also learned a lot of valuable lessons on how to do things differently. And it, it breaks my heart to see um, people who are not really intimate with their business, meaning they really haven't taken a look at what it is that they're doing in their business. And so what this looks like is the owner is just doing tactics. Let me do the next thing. Let me, you know, go get the next new skill set. I mean, paying, you know, thousands of dollars to learn a skill, a new skill set, um, bringing another product line, offer another service, and then still feel burned out six months from you know, the news, you know, getting the training or, or whatever the case is. And that is because they don't know how to implement that particular skill set into the business so that it makes money and it earns revenue. And I see it so often and it's, it's heartbreaking because we've got the mentality that more stuff 
or more busyness is actually the answer, and it's not. Um, many people have had opportunities where they have four and five staff members. Most people are struggling to get help, you know, in their businesses. And then I see people with four and five staff members, and then six months later, um, that is completely different. It's changed. They no longer have the staff, but it's because there is a lack of systems in the business. When you get intimate with your business, you look to see how that particular skill set or product, you know, that you're purchasing for your business is going to earn revenue. So one of the things I did as a brick and mortar service-based business owner, um, I opened in 2003 and um, I, I closed to consult full-time uh, 2013. And, and I shared this story with many business owners because I originally opened as a <clears throat> clothing boutique and salon. And then about three or four years down the road, I expanded my business to a full service uh, salon and spa. And if I had to do it differently, I would have stuck with the uh, clothing boutique and hair maybe another year or two because every time you add a new service I mean I did a complete remodel and all of that and so it took me years to recap my money from that not only that I had new services and a new atmosphere that I had to learn and so it takes time for those things to be implemented and brought into your business to the point where it's profiting. And if you're in a position where you are already feeling a, a little uncertain about what you're doing, as if I don't know how much longer I want to do this, or um, you're already not producing the profit that you desire, so maybe you know, you're know you just struggling to get right at that six-figure mark, the answer isn't necessarily to get another skill set to learn how to do more of the service, you know, more services for the customers. It's how to do the business. It's how to market it, how to advertise it, who to market it to. It's looking at your profit and loss. It's uh, streamlining your, your business, perhaps. So, you know, my heart just really, really breaks because so many business owners become stagnant because they are making efforts, but they're making the wrong efforts. And, you know, when we as business owners invest our time, money, energy, resources into things that don't produce, you know, a profit or revenue, it's draining, right? You lose your momentum, you lose your, your hope in what you're doing. And so I just wanted to share with you all this morning the importance of getting intimate with your business. Uh, there are people who own, uh, so my background is in the salon industry, and I help other service-based business owners, you know, like um, hairstylists, um, salon owners, massage therapists, um, personal stylists, uh, coaches, people who offer a, offer a service to other people is um, who I help. And when, you, when you're making investments in your business, they've got to make sense. <laughs> they've they've got to make sense, guys. And so it doesn't matter how many more skill sets you learn if you don't know how to monetize them, if you don't know how to make a profit from them. So maybe you have a new service that you've added, but you don't have any more time in the day to do it. So really, you're just trading the time to be able to implement that new service for the time you used to use for another service. And if you're if you don't know how to market it or or who to market it to, who your ideal customer is, it's just more money that you've invested that you struggle to get a return on. And so I challenge you guys to really take a look at your business and what you're building and don't let busyness fool you because busyness doesn't mean productive right it, it just does not mean productive and I see you know 
so many business owners who take on the mindset, I'm just going to learn as I go. Now, there are things that you're going to learn um, as you're moving and growing and building your business, but some things you don't even have the time to make all the mistakes that will happen from you attempting to learn how to to do it on your own. For instance, if you're you know getting staff or hiring staff or assistants in your place, um, as valuable a resource. <laughs> I'm on the live. As valuable. A resource <laughs> as uh, you know staff and assistants and employees are to growing your business you want to know how am I going to maintain that team once I get them right because all of that energy if you're consistently having to gear up and get new energy for for new staff and new team members eventually you're going to lose the desire to do it all and not necessarily because the business doesn't work but because you never took the time to get intimate with with the business so if you're investing in products for your business but you don't have a plan you don't have a strategy to to sell them you you're you're uncertain about who is ideal for them, they don't sell themselves. And so you have products and items, you know, sitting on the shelf, or maybe it's a new piece of equipment that you've purchased. And this is one of the things that I did. So I bought this big piece of equipment when I started um, offering spa services. And it took me two to three years to recap on that equipment because I had to now find the customers who were ideal for that equipment had I <clears throat> thought more clearly before purchasing the equipment, I could have used the investment in another area to grow my business. Now, luckily, it worked out where I ended up getting my money back. But the time um, and energy and effort that it took to recap for that particular uh, item and the clarity comes. And that was a big lesson for me in buying stuff for my business. I was like, oh, okay, so um, just because it's popular doesn't mean that my ideal customers have a desire for it, have a need for it. And if they don't, that doesn't mean that you can't create a new ideal customer. But is your business in a position where you even it can afford the time that it takes to to make that happen? So I encourage you on this morning to get intimate with your business, right? Really learn the ins and outs of doing business because no matter how many new skill set classes you go and take, if you don't know how to run the business, you're going to feel the same after you mm -hmm. take those classes or maybe even worse. Um, the value of learning how to really run your business is really low for most entrepreneurs because in their mind, because they're creative, they're just going to figure it out. Uh, and most businesses can't stand that. I you know, recently spoke with someone who just a year ago was considering having services and, you know, is now having to figure out a whole new plan for, you know, their business. I mean, this is not like a one-time conversation where from one year to the next, people are going out of business and those same people have invested money in things, in getting a new skill set to be able to do on the customer as opposed to learning how to, you know, run the business, getting really clear on who they are as a brand. Uh, also, really understanding how they want to create their business. So many people are opening businesses that they don't love at all. They don't love the effort, the time, the energy that they're having to put in it. And that is a business model issue, right? It's not necessarily you're in the wrong business. It's if the business model is conducive for how you want to live uh, your, your life as well. 
And so many people are going through a phase like every few months where they're uncertain about whether or not this is even what they want to do. And so learning by trial and error takes a lot longer. It costs a lot more, guys. And so as we move into this last half of the year, you know, slow down long enough to really look at your business and say, do I have the answers to really monetize this, to really meet the profit goals that I desire? And then ask yourself, am I running my business off of my emotions? Oftentimes when we run our business off of our emotions, we become stagnant because many people get to the space where they don't feel like it, which is an emotion. But oftentimes us not feeling like it is because we're not getting consistent results. Those emotions are normally because we're not getting consistent results or because what's required in order to really make it flow, we don't want to put, we don't want to do the work, whether the work is to um, implement, put a system in place, invest to get the answers, whatever it is. But if you don't get intimate with your business, you have all of the advantageous things that would help to enhance and grow a business and not know how to properly monetize it. So I encourage you guys today to get intimate with your business before you decide to take another skill set class, before you decide to buy another product or, or add something else on your service list or your list of products and services, I encourage you to learn how to monetize it. Learn how to make it work so that it's profitable. Many times it's not another skill set that you need. It's not another product line that you need. Um, it's not another service that you need to add to your service menu. Like, does it really make sense? There's usually a component to running the business that's missing for most business owners. And one year makes a huge difference. Many people in one year are, you know, feeling great and they're buying and investing in things off of their emotions and not necessarily what's needed. And that next year, the, the business looks completely different. It's, you know, the hype of starting it or doing this new thing was the only momentum that they really had a year ago. So the momentum wasn't based off of the fact that I have real answers and because I have real answers, I'm putting my faith and my work together, right? And so I, I, I think there's, I don't think there's anybody who's successful who has not operated in a measure of faith. But faith is not just saying, I'm gonna do this and to see how it works. It's calculated as well. So things can, can always go one way or the other in business, but the, the confidence and the, the being able to hold on to the faith is often because you have answers and you're aligning the work with the answers. And so you have faith, you know, that it's gonna work out. It's not just, you know, let me try 50 things and you know let's see which one works is like throwing spaghetti on the wall and just seeing which one of them sticks and many of you are not in a position in your business where you can allow you know yourself to take that many chances and risk so we're at the last half of 2019 and and one of the ways to get intimate is just to say uh, has my income changed for the better have I created more time freedom in my business? Have I accomplished any of the goals that I set out to accomplish? And for instance, if hiring staff was, was one of your goals and that has happened for you, you now have to see like, how do I get this to the place where the staff is running, the staff is earning revenue or the staff is supporting the business in a way where it's now earning more revenue. And that's that, those are leadership skills. Those are leadership skills. So many times we bring people into our space and we don't have 
uh, training program. We don't even have time to train them uh, because the owner is so busy putting out fires. And then you feel like hiring isn't working, but it's because your systems aren't working. So we really don't uh, manage people. We manage systems. And then we hire the right people who can actually operate in those roles so that those systems work. So we manage the systems. So you do need systems in place. As creative as we are, as big of um, visionaries as we are, there has to be some type of structure and a system and, and a guide to continue moving on. And when you have those things in place, um, it's just different. It's com completely different. Your profits are different. And so... Um, Many things we will learn as we go, but if you're, you know, making big investments and you just say, well, I'm just going to figure all of this out when I go, it's, it's just so risky. This is why so many people end up, you know, closing their business. And I've seen it, you know, from one year to the next, it's, it's gone. And so get intimate with your business, guys. Many of you don't need a new skill set. You don't need a new product line. You need to learn to run the business, to market it, to brand it, to create strategies and not just work off of tactics, um, not to get hyped about the next new cut party or, uh, you know, skill set class. Um, but get intimate with your business. When you do that, you'll actually enjoy and love the process even greater. That's my take on this morning. It was on my heart. I've had so many people... Um, over this six month time frame to reach out to me who have new things going on in their business or they <clears throat> wanted to do something different in their business and then a, a year later because they didn't get the answers um they're trying to figure out a new strategy you know they don't even know if the business is going to to maintain so learn how to run the business um and then when you add things into the business they'll they'll really make sense and earn you revenue and not just cause you to be busier or to be able to say we now offer this service it makes no sense if it's not making money you guys have a good one peace